Today I'm making ruffled tabs with three embellishments for our August assembly line junk journal challenge. This is one of the elements. This is my last element and my journal will be just about finished for a look and tutorial. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the messy desk. We are working on our last element for the August assembly line junk journal challenge. I have ruffles or tabs. All items need at least three embellishments. So I know some of you have been waiting for this one. So remember I've already added edges here so that can count as an edge but we need to add ruffles and tabs. Okay, so I have these two pieces of fabric and they were like a little bag full of these strips and I'm going to go ahead and fold this one in half. It looks like they're about a yard. So I'm going to fold it in half, fold it in half again. That gives me four. I'm going to fold it in half again. And that'll give me eight, okay, that are all about the same length. Let's go ahead and get, we're gonna go ahead and cut these. So that's eight. And remember, I'm doing three journals. So of the second one, I'm gonna go ahead, grab and cut one more. That'll give me nine. That'll give me three for each journal. Okay, so that is my three for each journal. So for the tabs, I'm thinking we can go ahead and do a, a ruffle. And of course, I will be putting it onto strips of paper because that's how I like to um, prepare my ruffles and tabs. So, um, I have some branding strips that were from this. You can see it's the butterfly page. And so we will go ahead and for the middle one, I want to use these. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put it on this page right here that has the, the quilt. So for this one, this particular one because they were this is the mag the quilt page and they were different in each of the um, journals okay so for this one I'm going to go ahead and put my ruffle kind of right in the middle so I'll be sewing this on just like this okay so that will give me that okay so let's go ahead, we'll have three of those. Okay, so that gives me three, those three tabs. Then, on the, through. what I'll do is I will ruffle these like this, send them through the machine on, on this. So we'll ruffle and ruffle on that. So that's the other six of those. We have our nine tabs out of this. And then we'll come back and we'll be able to glue them in and start or add their embellishments and then glue them in. We'll see how that works. Okay, so I'm going to take all those with me. I don't know which ones I'm going to need for sure. And I'll be right back with my nine, my nine tabs assembly line. Be right back. Okay, so I have made my ruffles and I went ahead and I just zigzagged them on. And for some reason, my sewing machine has decided that zigzag is okay again. I don't know. <laughs> so... I'm going to go ahead, cut the string. 
And you can see on these, I went ahead and I put three on those. And then these each had one single. These are the ones that are for on the quilting page. Okay, and I think I'll go ahead and Put this all the way at the edge. Okay, and I liked that we had that butterfly and I've been saving that for us to be able to use in here. So we need to add some other elements to this. Let's see, and let's go ahead and pull out some bulb pins. Okay, so I have these little teeny butterfly that um, I have gone ahead and put on a jump ring that is from um, Dollar Tree so in the crafter square section I was able I I know it's crazy I was able to get some little jump rings and then I'm gonna see if I can find us like a little pearl Aha, here's a creamy colored one. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go with this and the thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this little bead there along with that. We've been using these and make sure, probably need to use the brown ones because I don't think, I think I only have one blue. And I don't think I even have any blue ones. Okay, so that gives me three elements on my, my thing. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this through just like that. Okay, and it will hang off from the edge was what the, the idea here was. Just hang off from the edge. Move this down to its page and it is going to be like the middle tab. And I think this one being the middle tab, if I choose to do a closure that comes around the middle, I think this will be flexible enough it won't be in the way. I love that. I love that. And look at there, we've applied it right onto our tab. Okay? If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving. Hi! And say hello to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I'm so glad you've joined us today. If you're here for the premiere, make sure that you come over and you say hello in the chat and if you are here after we'd love to get to know you and hope that you can join us soon we have a new video in the premiere format which means it is pre-recorded so I'm probably over in the chat and can answer questions and get to know you over there we do this every day at 10:30 Pacific Standard Time with a brand new crafty video we also have our Facebook group, Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, and it's a place that we can get to know each other even better and share our projects, and it's a lot of fun. You have found us in the middle of August, probably, <laughs> and this is our August challenge, the August Assembly Junk Journal Challenge. The details video for the challenge is in the description box down below. Of course, we would love to have you join us. And you can find out about the prizes and all of the fun down below. So let's get back to our program. So we're going to come back here. We need a tab for the bottom. This one already has the belly band on it. So we'll come to this page here. And so we need one that we'll grab one of these. 
Remember, I'm I've done my my um, tabs on paper so that I can go ahead and and glue them in. This is so different from what we're using here. I'm going to go ahead and make it so that you don't see it. Okay, so a little more camouflaged. So there's that. We have these tabs also that Yeah, this side goes a little further off. Okay, I'm going to go with it on the end side here. And then we have these fun little dangly things. go ahead and put our little charm hang it on here okay this out of our way do we have three tickets one two three we do okay so we could go ahead and Just grab the numbers from the ticket. Okay. So I like this tab here. I'm going to go ahead and glue that in there. Okay, so the tab is, is glued in. Move this out of the way. Sitting here trying to hold that, it's uh, it's uncomfortable. Okay, um, okay, let's go ahead and we'll glue our little ticket on. three out of everything that I thought might be something that we might be able to use when it came down to it. So go ahead and for assembly line we go ahead and we can get these ready. just come in a bag like this. 0.23 is what I'm using for the little butterflies and I'm going to go ahead and put, um, put them in the rest of these so I'll be right back. Okay, so we have these. Let's go ahead and we'll cut this one off. Okay, and we need a tab. And the tab is going on the inside piece. tab on the inside piece. There we go. And okay, so 
So that gives us our tabs on the inside piece. Now we have to figure out how we're going to go ahead and attach these. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my crocodile, a small hole, to come over and make a hole right through everything. Okay. And then I can go ahead and put this through. If I go through with the knot first, um, we'll try this first. But with the knot, I'm able to get it through there. Then we'll go up and around. This has a little bit of elastic on it. This is a jewelry tag from Michaels. I think it comes in a combination of a few different ones. And now this one will hang down. And then when we glue this, we'll make sure that we glue this area here also. I like, I like this actually. Okay, so that is going to be our next one. So we need to go ahead and now that we know we like it, we'll cut the holes on the other two. This way we only have to pick up the crocodile once. Go ahead, clear out that hole so that we can see where we're going to be putting our piece in. And we'll grab it. You'll see I'm going to take the knot and send the knot through because it's easier than trying to thread those other pieces. Okay, then we're going to come up, open this up, bring it around. Okay, bring it around our tag here. You watch your charm on the on the inside. Okay, and we'll pull this down. Okay, so I'm having to pull it from the back to get it down to this area. Pull my charm around the front, and there we have tag number two. And then we've got our third one here, our hole is already cut. So I'm going to come and pull it out and move it down. Okay, and that way this will all be down here. And remember, we're going to go ahead and put glue on the strings on the back when we attach them. Okay, so there's our three. They have a ticket, a tag, and a charm, and a tab. So there's four on each of those. So we have one more set here. And go ahead and just cut these apart from each other to start with. Okay. Now we have our, our tickets here. Okay. And I'm going to take advantage of the fact that this might be able to become a little place to tuck something in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my ticket to the paper on each one of these.
so that gives me that. So now I have <laughs> something a little different. We have these little um, circles here. We have these circles are a little bit bigger. So I'm going to grab three of these circles. Okay. And then I have some of the butterflies from the um, wrapping paper. I'm going to go ahead and put these on here, on these. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that my letter and number are upright. to trim these. Start with the one we did first. You could leave it at this. You have, you know, a little, a little charm, and this is probably what we're gonna do right there for the signature ties. But we're gonna go one further, and we have these little, the circles, the markers that we have been using. We're gonna go ahead add some glue here around this edge. Remember I said I like to use all, all the things. Okay. And I'm going to put this on here. Just to do something a little different <laughs> using scraps. Okay, so we're going to let those dry. ahead and we'll get our bulb pins ready. So I need to add jump rings to these last three little charms. Okay, so we're going to add the jump rings and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to go ahead while those are still drying and I'm going to add these um, butterflies to the top of the three with the coupon. Keep the coupon. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue on here. Add my butterfly. And you see I've got these that are from the side view of the butterfly. This 
so that gives me a butterfly on the edge okay so these should be good and we can go ahead and I'm just gonna cut around the outside of the marker here So again, this is the bingo game that I get at Dollar General, and I have had so much fun with it. I have been able to use all of the pieces, and I was going to use the plastic markers in this, um, but I don't have time for, the, for what I wanted to do to dry. So you could add glossy accents into these. Um, there is a well now because we have the little hole and it would hold the glossy accents perfectly. Um, I'm not gonna do that this time, but I think that that would be a great addition. Now, I am gonna go ahead and put a hole in this and I'm gonna add a jump ring to this also and turn it into a charm. This time I'm gonna use a push pin um, carefully because it is just cardboard and wrapping paper. And I think the... Oh, if I have... Okay, so this is a mouse pad. Makes a great place to punch a hole. each of those and now we'll go ahead and add the jump ring if you want to do this and you don't have the jump rings you might be able to find some like on some broken jewelry or unwanted jewelry that was a great deal for that for There we have our couple of butterflies. We can just add this to our tab here. Careful if your butterfly, your big butterfly, is still wet. I'm going up and under a ruffle. whole lot of butterflies going on here and then go ahead and trim this down I left it on on purpose because I didn't know where I was gonna put where I was gonna put what okay so next we need another jump ring add it to the butterfly marker charm So, these are the ruffles with at least 
three elements, okay? And you can make all of yours the same. You can make nine ruffle elements. They can be the full length of your page if you want them to be. Um, or you can make uh, different ones for them. And I'm looking for my book. <laughs> okay, so here's our journal. And let's go ahead. We can add the other two in. This is good because of the weight of this and see how with all of this on the hair, I think that this is going to be a bottom tab. And so we're going to put that towards the back. And there's a lot going on on this page. But this will also help hold whatever you put in there. We're going to put it all the way up to the edge. So we'll go ahead and I use, remember I attach my ruffles to usually to branding strips or just strips of, of paper. And I'm also going to come all the way up on the butterfly. Okay. For this one. And I'm not going to put it all the way down at the bottom because I, I don't want to mess up my stamping here. Okay, but I do want my paper all the way to the edge. Okay, so these little goodies will stick out. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at, look at, look at. Just, just, just a little bit out. Okay, and then up here... We have our other one, and I'm going to put this one on the page with all this. Okay, so again, remember we were going to put glue here to help hold that in place. gives us that tab. Okay, so we have our three tabs. I love them. I think they're really, really a lot of fun. So, I still have the other ones to go in the other two journals. And so the other thing is, is any of these things that we made, we could use those for center signature strings. And so I am going to decide uh, which one I'm going to do. And I will add those. And a closure. And I will show you those in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. And I would love to know which one was your favorite idea and which one are you going to try. Um, so you can see I had all kinds of other little things out here just in case. But I really like that addition here. We still have more embellishments to add. We still have our little strip that we can add in here as well. And so... There you go. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will add an embellishment playlist for junk journals up here. And an embellishment charms video over here. For your watching a pleasure and your crafty company. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.